gets you through my morning every day. Every morning. Ladies and gentlemen, Adelaide's Jody and Hazy on Nova. Welcome to the podcast, everybody. And we discovered a story about a man who told 35 different women that it was his birthday on 35 different dates. 35 different presents. Well done, mate. Oh, it's not bad. He he got done for fraud, by the way. It's not well done at all. No, no. And we thought, oh, my God, who does that? Who has a rotation slash roster system? Uh, That would be... News read out. (laughs) Good on her. One of the things we like to do on this show is when people tell us things in confidence in meetings, we like to expose them. Yeah, we really do. On air. And we're talking about a story which has been circulating now for a while. A boyfriend who dated 35 women and told each other he had a different birthday, so he regularly received gifts. He was arrested for fraud in Japan. His name is Takashi Migawawa. He's 39. (laughs) He scammed 35 women. Could you believe it? The serial data informed each victim that he desired a meaningful relationship in order to get presents. He eventually got done. We thought, what kind of monster would have such a rolling rotation? What kind of absolute serial pest would do such a thing? Mm. And then who raised their hand? No, she didn't even raise her hand. She was sitting on the floor at the time. (laughs) And we just hear a little voice from the corner going, I had a roster. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not saying I condone what he's done. I'm just saying I understand. Oh, okay. (laughs) Okay. Take us through your rolling roster, (sighs) Takashi Migawawa. Look, this was in confidence yep. and I'm very upset with you two. But look, essentially, sometimes in the dating world, I remember back in the day, in my heyday, because it's not at the moment, um, <laughs> I had to have a bit of a roster. Sure. Because there were multiple suitors. Yeah. Um, you know, my housemates used to come home and they'd see someone there and then they'd leave and then there'd be someone different there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I had to have a roster just to kind of make sure that, you know, what have I spoken to him about? What have I told him about? Which, where are we up to? <laughs> did, did they ever overlap? Did you ever um, get dates confused? Did they ever turn up? No, but Same one time? was standing on the driveway as another one rocked up once. Oh, but wow. I talked myself wow. out of that. How the hell did you talk your way <laughs> out of that one? How? How on earth? <laughs> That's my cousin, <laughs> Jerry. Yes, yeah. with the flowers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who's semi-naked. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think he had with his shirt on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, family. like I said, not condoning this behaviour at all, but I understand. Right. A friend of mine, I'm going to call her the Queen of Tinder, she would decided <laughs> that this year was the year she was going to find her person. So yep. she, this woman, you had to, you, she had to share spreadsheets with us because we were like, hang on, who's him? Hang on, which one was this? No, didn't you go for dinner with him? So she had it all on a spreadsheet who she was dating so that we wouldn't get confused. So well, that's where we're at as a society because dating sucks. Well. So she had an Excel spreadsheet. Yeah, and she shared it with us. Oh, so that we, because she was sick of having to answer 50 million questions all the time. Yeah, right. I mean, look, like I say, not condoning <laughs> it, but it's bloody smart. Yeah, okay. So what So what? What date was this? Like, what sort of year are we talking? <sighs> I was living at Brompton. I would have been maybe like 25. Right, so. So seven years eight ago. Eight years ago. Two or three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Eight years ago, so 2015. I'll just put it out there right now. 2015. For all the blokes who thought that they were an exclusive relationship, <laughs> would that be the Abby? news reader? Sorry, boys, you weren't. <laughs> <laughs> you and 18 others. <sighs> yep, it's a podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in. What's that? Oh, you're only here for the code word Aww. for text for Tay Tay. Rude. Oh, that's okay. We'll give it to you anyway. Yeah. It is. <gasps> 22. 22. Yeah. Oh, 23, not 21, 22. Because no, she sings a song about being 22. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense then. It does. Everything's adding up. What if you can book your hotel now and choose to pay when you get there? With thousands of flexible booking options in select stays, you're only a what if away from your next holiday. Book on the what if app. What if it's Aussie for travel? Here's what you're waking up to, Adelaide. News. In the news today. Breaking news. Breaking news. What's in the news today? Your host, Snooze News. Yes, stormy weather is absolutely pummeling the state this morning. So we've got uh, more than 5,000 homes without power across the city due to those storms. 3,000 at Ashford, Wayville, Glandor and Goodwood. I'll say that again. There's 3,000 homes at Ashford, Wayville, Glandor and Goodwood and surrounding areas uh, without power. So severe thunderstorm warning just issued for the Adelaide region and uh, potentially with this storm cell will become large 
will come large hail, flash f- flooding and damaging winds. Yeah, there you go. There's your prognosis for a Tuesday morning, if you don't mind. A bit going on weather-wise. Yeah, yeah, and we were just saying, like, the sky was really red just before and it feels a bit Armageddon-ish, um, but there's been plenty of lightning this morning as well. So a bit going on, as they say. That's the technical <laughs> professional analysis <laughs> from the Bureau. Yes, it is a bit, bit going on. bit going on, guys. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, so please take care on the roads this morning because it was pretty heavy and there was a lot of like flooding on the roads and that sort of thing so just slow down okay. yeah the north south motorways speeds are down to 80 uh, apparently the freeway from bridge for the freeway from bridgewater to glen osmond is quite slippery so take it easy if you're out on the roads take care is the message all right <laughs> Uh, so we've got some big news overnight. The Cremorne Hotel has been awarded the overall or the best overall hotel of the year. So there was the Australian Hotel Association Awards. You might remember I had a little strategic day off a few weeks ago in the middle of the week. It's because I went to the awards the night before. Oh, we thought you were planning for 2024. Yeah, You're just no, getting a no. head start. I was yeah, having right. a sleep in. Yeah. <laughs> I when you say strategic day off, was that when... Oh, that was the day you slept in. Yes. Didn't oh, to well, okay, I wasn't going to bring that up, but thanks, Jodie. That's all right. You're welcome. <laughs> we've, all, we've all done it, babes. Yes. Um, but a little local connection, which not too many people know. The Cremorne Hotel used to have an elephant called Tommy living at the back of it. And if you go to the Cremorne, you'll see on the menu that they have the story about Tommy the elephant. Now, he loved beer. He was very cheeky, and he used to love ripping clothes off the line and things like that. Anyway, it got to the point where they're like, we can't have this elephant at the back of the hotel anymore. So my great, 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 great grandfather, John Smith, actually bought Tommy the elephant and Tommy came up and helped plough the fields and basically uh, help, helped John Smith. They called Smithfield after John Smith. So helped him up there before we sold him. Um, so a little local connection for us with the Cremorne Hotel. There okay. you go. Good stuff. Let me just retrace that for one moment. Your... Our family owned Tommy the Elephant at family one point. Family brought an elephant from the Cremorne Hotel. Correct. Wow. Just when I thought you couldn't get any more messed up. <laughs> Here we are. I had a mate called Tommy the Elephant as well. Oh, yeah. I've met him too. <laughs> We've yeah, all met you? him. Yeah. He's a character, wasn't he? You, Susie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's finish up with some AFL news. Uh, so both the AFL sides back yesterday for yeah. training. Uh, Port Adelaide um, was at Alberton. Sava Radigalia yeah. trained as well for the first oh, time. Until, were geez, you excited? Absolutely magnificent. Mm. Technically, it was the first of four-year players, but a few of the senior players turned up as well. Uh, and at the Crows as well, everyone turned up there. And I, I love how... Uh, Darren Burgess, the fitness boss, played yep. a little prank on the boys. You know, they do that thing where the camera's set up and there's a question there and they answer it and it's being filmed? Yes. So as they come up the race or go into the track for training, they often fire questions at them. So they did that, but unbeknownst to them, they were on film with Darren Burgess, the fitness guy, when they were asked about their eating habits in the off-season. Two meal during the break. Mmm. Brilliant. Um, probably Texas um, barbecue. How many did you have, Rob? Oh, Bob! The did you have? Can't say. Five, six. So we're at the latest pool party. Hey, Boz. Hey, Boz. <laughs> nothing but salads, you told me. No, nothing but salads for the rest of the pre-season burger. Okay, mate, we'll see. Well done. I don't understand how this can be a good use of our resources. <laughs> don't we pay you like a million dollars a year? <laughs> There's a special comments here from Ned McHenry. Uh, Berger just uh, acting out for the cameras as well. As soon as they turn it off, just punching the wall. What's going on? Oh, <laughs> Are they allowed to eat whatever they want and then come back and God get no. back into a pre season? Yeah, or they've got to be good eat, on their holidays? You can eat what you want as long as you don't put on fat. <laughs> like, and there would be blokes who could eat whatever they want and not put on anything. And other blokes who look at something bad and yeah. completely go straight to their guts. Like, there was a player, I'm trying to think who it was, but there was a player that I know, oh, that's right, um, he would eat whatever he wanted, drank whatever he wanted in the off-season, and then the last two weeks before he had to come back for that 4K time trial would just eat apples. Yes. For two weeks. such a dangerous way to live. <laughs> anyway, it's gosh. It's extreme, isn't it? The apple diet. Yeah. Hey, big shout-out as well, the AFLW Awards won last night. Yes. Many Conte smashed it, Conte rather, smashed it from Richmond mm-hmm. for the AFLW Best and Ferris. Ed Marinoff, Chelsea Bedell, Daniel Ponta, and Neve Kelly, all Australian. Well done. Yeah, good stuff. Well done, girls. As the lightning is still going off behind your head here as I look out the window. That's just my aura. Is it? (laughs) (laughs) You're so dangerous. Yes. The 615 Vending Machine Quiz.
This is how it works. We have three questions for you. If you get the third one right, you get a crack at all the prizes in the vending machine, 13, 24, 10, if you'd like to play. Actually, let's just take Mitch from Morford Vale. Hey, Mitch. Hey, guys. How are you going? We're great. Thank you. How are you enjoying the weather this morning? Good, thanks. Oh, so good. <laughs> is it raining at your joint? Yeah, it's on the way to work. It's pouring down Marion Road. Is it really? Ooh. All right. Well, take yeah. care. Yeah, have, do you Thank need to pull you. over so you can concentrate on the quiz questions? I'll be fine. I'll stay in the right lane. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <God. laughs> stay in the right. That's the wrong one. You're supposed to stay oh, left. Geez. Oh, God. All right. Uh, uh, Mitch, let's go. Question one. What is the main ingredient in sushi? Uh, right. Correct. Yes. Well done. well done, Mitch. Spot on. Someone's a bit fancy and been to sushi train. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you a sushi lover there, Mitch? Yeah, I am, yeah. Yeah. Are you like me on the rest of us? And when we go there, we're like so Australian. All we get is the chicken and avocado. <laughs> yeah, teriyaki's a favourite. Teriyaki's <laughs> yeah, good. Classic. And also, like, you you like side-eye your kids as they keep piling up their plates. Yeah. Like, that's enough. Yeah, you're and, right. that, and that's a $4 plate. It adds up. It sure oh, does. Oh, boy, it adds up. Okay, question number two, Mitch. What TV show is this the theme for? <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Don't you know this? No. Okay. I don't know if Mitch will. Uh, oh, yes, Mitch. It is. Oh, you nailed that. Yes, it is. Are you, were you a fan or did you just black out for a second and just... Uh, I rewatched the whole series a few, uh, a few months ago with a partner. It's, oh, it's, how's the timing? Is it very, have you ever watched this? It's a very funny show, isn't it, Mitch? Yeah, I like it, Joey. I like the musical. Yeah, good. Yeah. Nice. All right, question number three, and this is for a go at the vending machine. How long is an Olympic swimming pool in metres? Olympic swimming pool. Oh, no, 100 metres. Oh! <gasps> if you go up. And- <laughs> oh, jeez, close. Yeah, she's doing so well. When he Here we go. Here we Simone go. Simone from... 50 metres. It is 50 <laughs> metres, yes. Straight in, Simone. Well done, well done. Simone. Bang. Okay. Do you remember uh, Do you remember Eric the Eagle at the Sydney 2000 Olympics? Oh, yeah. Yeah, for everyone else it was 50 metres. For him it felt like 1,500 right. just he, for one lap. He he genuinely couldn't swim, Eric the Eel. Yeah, and the kicker was he was wearing his Speedos <laughs> and the drawstring was like hanging on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you know. Classic swimmer, rookie mistake. Classic, Eric. Uh, okay, um, Simone, we need a letter from a, uh, between A and C, please. Uh, B, please. B and a number between two and six. Uh, five. Five. B5. It's working. Andrew Hayes on the vending machine this morning. Oh, no. Hey! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Quick. Oh, you've just literally taken the face off the vending machine. Thank there you. you. Sorry, I got stuck. That's okay. <laughs> oh, congratulations. You've won a $100 Milky Lane voucher. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's that's really good. Thank you so much. Well done, Simone. That's good. That's good. Thank you. Okay. Oh, that's nice. All right. 615 Vending Machine Quiz is going to return tomorrow at around about 615. Yeah. Welcome to the studio, producer Zoe. Good morning. Yeah, Zoe informed us uh, yesterday, Joe, that mm. potentially, and in this beautiful, magical world, mm. they could do another instalment of the greatest movie franchise which <laughs> has ever come into our existence. Take that's us through right. it, Zoe. So. Well, that's right. Well, recently... In one of his appearances on the New Yorker Radio Hour, Bradley Cooper hinted that there might be The Hangover 4. Oh, mm. my very goodness. How about that ride in? I guess that's why they call it Sin City. Uh, you guys might not know this, but I consider myself a bit of a loner. I tend to think of myself as a one-man wolf pack. But when my sister brought Doug home, I knew he was one of my own. And my wolf pack, it grew by one. <laughs> So there was two. <laughs> yeah, so recently he opened up about how he would probably do The Hangover 4 in an instant, sharing his uh, deep affection for the team. But he has urged fans to temper their expectations, seeing as it might be a little while till it's on board. But how good if that came back? Oh, I'd be the best. I'd flirt with us like that, Bradley Cooper. Yeah. yeah. How dare you? No, flirt with me, Bradley Cooper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Any day oh, of the week. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, we were talking about what else we want to see come back because yeah. there are so many great movies and TV shows, bands, everything. It would be so good to get some of the yeah. classics back. Percent. You got anything you'd like to come back? Yeah, so for me, straight up, I'd made to, I'd like to see another instalment of Step Brothers. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you, can't, you cannot improve on perfection, though. Yeah, <laughs> that is of. true. But yeah. if anyone's going to be able to do a sequel better than the original, yeah. they couldn't do it for Dumb and Dumber. 
No. No. But Will Ferrell, John C. Riley. It's a crotch party. <laughs> right <laughs> up in here. Why don't you lick on, on this big oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cute. I remember when I had my first beer. <laughs> because what comes with Step Brothers is possibly the greatest soundtrack of all time. <laughs> <laughs> now we can't play the lyrics here. Oh, they're playing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. To my dad's boat, you won't go down because it's a great movie. <laughs> it's a really good movie, and I'd like to see a second instalment. Yeah, dear. yeah, I don't think they could outdo the first one, but it would be pretty close. It'd be pretty close. The amount of times in the Audi household where so much room for activities. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. Jones, do you have one? Um, I would like to send this. Going to show my. Oh no, no, I shouldn't go down this territory. Oh, no. But go. can you remember? It's a knockout. It used to be a Sunday staple. In everyone's house, it's a knockout. That's the name of the game. Anyone? 13, 20, 14, oh, 04, 00, 919, 919. No. It's a knockout. Such a shame. That oh, was back yeah. in the 70s, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh. That was down oh, to Tazzy. only yeah. special. Oh. That's good. <laughs> oh, wow. Love that idea from you, Joes, but can confirm anyone, everyone who was on that production said has since passed away. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Don't say that. I think the host has oh, passed really? away. Oh, damn. Okay. Who was yes. that? <laughs> um, Debbie Danner. Uh, what about the iPod Classic too? I quite like those. The iPod? It's, it's, it's more, yeah. I don't know, it's more tactile than Spotify. I just like having your own little personal music system in a separate thing to your phone. You know? Do you know what? It, it, there wasn't really a specific moment where the iPod got phased out. It just kind of... It was gone. It just it disappeared, kind of, didn't it? It just gently disappeared like a blockbuster. There mm. was a moment where you had an iPhone and like... An iPad. Yeah. And like in your iPhone shuffle and all sorts of things. And all of a sudden it just sort of merged just into one. Melded into one. It's nice, mm. isn't it? Mm. Shall we do this? Yeah, let's do it. 13 24, 10, what would you like to make a comeback? And any caller who gets on air will go in the running to win an, a Renai air conditioner and installation worth $2,500 if that's you That's pretty mind. good. Could be a band as well. What about the boys from Oasis? Oh, my God. Squash the beef, boys. Yeah. For goodness sake. They ain't ever coming back. They hate each other. Oh, oh. no. But that also adds to the aura of it. Yeah. <laughs> but if they could hate each other but still tour and sing together, yes. wouldn't that be delightful? You know we work together every day. We hate each other. How very dare you. <laughs> <laughs> 13, 24, 10. What would you love to see make a little comeback? I spoke before, Joe. It's about what would be one of the great comebacks of all time because Bradley Cooper flirting. He said he'd be open to doing another instalment of The Hangover in an instant. It's, so you don't know what to wish for in this instance because, like, you don't want them to ruin the legacy either. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, anyone who gets on air will go on the running to win a Rinai air conditioner, an installation worth two and a half grand. Be blown away by the Rinai split system air conditioners, up to nine star efficiency rating and 15 metre airflow. Relax, it's a Rinai. Yeah. All right, 13, 24, 10. What would you like to see make a comeback? Let's go to Michelle and Westlake. Good morning to you, Michelle. Good morning, guys. How are you? Yeah, We're going good. Very well. What would you like to see, Michelle? I would love to see. Um Hey, hey, it's Saturday comeback. Oh. That was a staple in the Hayes household. Like you genuinely, imagine genuinely crowded around and watching a show on a Saturday night as a family. Wouldn't happen these days. Too busy with life and other things out and about. Do you know who wants that to come back desperately? Daryl Summers. Yeah, Daryl's open to it. I think Daryl's tried. <laughs> He's open to it. Daryl has tried repeatedly. And one of the great characters from Hey, Hey, It's Saturday. Mm. Dickie Knee. What's up, Dickie? Hey, you doing? What's up, Dickie? Right, yeah. <laughs> Dickie, hey. It's so bizarre. Just this little guy to stick with a blue hat and curly oh, hair. It just worked, though, didn't it? Uh, Linda from Netley, what would you like to see come back? Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. With the original cast, so Sarah Michelle Gellar as yeah. um, Buffy, yeah. I'm yeah, sure she, she, oh, she'd take the call, wouldn't yeah, she? Yeah, she really peaked, I reckon. Uh, <laughs> and and Sarah Michelle didn't know at the time, like because people were like, oh, this is just stepping stone to bigger and brighter things. Who would have thought she was actually peaking? Yeah, mm. absolutely. Good one, Linda. Thank you. Claudia from Hindmarsh Island, what do you want to see come back? Uh, the price is right. Uh, oh, yeah. Well. So when you guys are playing that game in the morning, that's all I think about is that game. Yeah. yeah. And, and, yeah. The, and the little yodeler who went up the hill and you just couldn't yeah. go over, otherwise you'd fall off the cliff, <laughs> which he was going to do eventually. And you tip him over yeah. the edge. That feels like such a metaphor oh, for my fantastic. life. Yeah. It was always a in our household. <laughs> you keep yeah. pushing me, I'll go up the hill, but eventually I'm going to fall just off the cliff. Go the edge. <laughs>
Um, so just before we wrap this up, uh, News Radio Abby, you've been doing a little bit of research. Uh, just uh, what was that show you said before? Oh, so it's a knockout first premiered in 1966. <laughs> did not. It did not. That is, oh, oh, sorry, that was the British version. It then it then is, was here 85 to 87. That is such BS. I wasn't even born then. <laughs> well, you, you mightn't be alive very shortly. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Uh, always on the uh, pole series news with Abby. Isn't with thank you. Stats and information. Good yeah. stuff. Thanks, thanks Abs. <laughs> thanks, thanks for your input, input as always. <laughs> and thanks to everyone who's called through uh, with something they'd like to see come back. You're all in the mix to win a Rina air conditioner. Be blown away by Rina Split System air conditioners up to nine star efficiency rating, 15 meter airflow. Relax. Ooh. It's Rina. Um, there is a whisper that the price is right. Might be back, actually. Is that is that true? Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh, watch Can't this say space. any more than that because I'm not sure if I'm allowed to. Oh. Uh-oh. On channel, <laughs> what? Is it on your network? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Shh. All right, watch this space. Jody and Hazy, soft, 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 soft. <laughs> I say grand final? <laughs> I imagine this is what it's like <laughs> in the Premier League when you've got such an almighty lead, but you're like, you know what? Contractually, we're obliged to turn up to the last game. Yeah. Oh. It would be a grand final, I guess, if the Brisbane Lions were playing North Melbourne. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a grand final. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. Okay, that's fine. This is how it works. Two songs orchestralised. We just have to guess what they are, title and artist. I can always get the song. I just don't know the name of the song. Or the artist. Or yeah. the artist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Producer Zoe joins us. Just I do, to, to keep things civil. Uh, we've got a couple of listeners that you're playing for for a Milky Lane voucher. On Team Jody today is Kelly from Elizabeth Downs. Hi, Kelly. Hi. Sorry, Kelly. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> Wrong attitude. Okay, <laughs> and then for Hazy, we've got Adam from Edwardstown. G'day, guys. How are you? Hey. Yeah, good. Thanks, Adam. Hey, Adam. When, let's go, Hazy. Let's go, big dog. Mate. When do you want to go to Milky Lane with me? Oh, stop. Oh. I, actually went, I actually went there last night for dinner. <laughs> 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 Two times in a week, that's fine. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, same as always. We've got Nova Hits and Throwbacks, Orchestralised, Name Is Your Buzzer, Song Name and Artist Name, Song One, please. Oh. Oh. I have no idea. Hey, listen again. Let alone the song and the title. How neither of you have this? We're running out of time here. Come on, you two! Can we both get this? Big time. Yeah. That's embarrassing. No, well, do you know what's... Do you know what's He's yelling out Mika and he's yelling out all yeah. sorts of stuff. And no one can concentrate. Well, you both was it Mika? Lost. No, it was Nelly hot in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Makes sense. On, Not strong for the final one. What of the year. a strong start by My both of us. Giddy. Well, okay, can you tell him to be quiet? Yeah, yeah. okay, Hazy, Thank it's you. the last one of the year. Just play nice. Quiet, please. I told call. you, I told you and not to be. Your name is your buzzer. Yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, 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 me, me. Uh, no, that's not your name. <laughs> okay, All right. Ready? Next one. Nilo. Okay. Song two. What? Tell her to stop. Stop it, Abby. <laughs> Oh, toxic Britney Spears, Jody. Oh, Jody, oh, Jody. Oh, oh. Yes. I'm going to let the fact you didn't use your name as your buzzer slide. <laughs> yeah. You got there oh, eventually. technicality. No. no. I guess she at least oh. said it before you even had a go. Wow. Well done, Jody. <laughs> yeah. Strong for the final one. Okay, here we go. Here right. we go, final one. Here's your chance oh. to take it out. Come on, Jody. I'm sure oh, you've Hazy. been absolutely destroyed during your bitch. You're only as good as your last contest. Song three, Hazy. Very. Some sort of Disney. <laughs> Hazy. Yeah, Hazy. Come on, three. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Jody. Well, I'll put this Jody. Buble. No. Uh, uh, oh. Wrong. So is it, is Jody. It, is it Mariah Carey? All I want for Christmas. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Kelly, 
Kelly, you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> I know. You I would know. not believe it. Oh, goodness oh, me. Jesus, Adam, I'm so sorry, my friend. Uh, all good, Hazy. Good work, mate. Oh, oh, you guys can still go to Milky Way together. You just yeah. have to pay for it. My shout, though, mate. All right. <laughs> well, done, mate. <laughs> well done, Kel. Enjoy. What a tragic Thank end you. for you, Andrew. Oh, my gosh. Who, who saw that coming? Not me. Not no. me. No one, especially not the bookies. I was paying 93 cents. <laughs> You're going to lose money if you put money on me. You know what? One of you is going to have to redeem yourself for the Battle of the Bangers. Uh, oh, that's going to be the big one on Friday. Well, there you go. Mm. Officially, so we finish at 14 to 7. Yep, that's okay. I'll, no, I'll take 50%. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> 50%. Like it was so dire for about seven weeks in a row. I'll take that. Yeah, it's good. Uh, Milky Lane, Australia's favourite burgers, cocktails and desserts, now open on Rundle Street. Visit Milky Lane. There you mm. go. Good little finish. Good also, for good. big apologies to Nelly from both of us. Yeah, oh, huge. That's embarrassing. Isn't it? Oh, my gosh. Ugh. We should feel awful about that. Mm. I've got a great life hack for you. Oh, is it putting fake coins in the 615 vending machine? No, it's not that. Okay. But, um, and I have to say, I have to declare, not hashtag sponsored at all. This is just something that I like to do when I have a spare half an hour in my day. So, you know, I live at the Avenues Shopping Centre, my spiritual home. Yeah, it's ridiculous. You're like a genuine mall rat. <laughs> they can't get rid of you. Sometimes I have to hose Jody out of the avenues. <laughs> Honestly, I walk through to the florist. Hi, morning. Yeah, no, 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 she is great. The butcher, morning. Oh, That's yes. The- Hide your samples, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Got some free fritz yesterday. Yeah. Who's I the bet, loser? I bet you did. <laughs> kept, kept the toothpicks as well. <laughs> anyway, so in between scabbing at the avenues, um, they've got like this little massage centre mm. and I've worked out if you go in... For $35, that's with your medical rebate, someone will rub your feet for half an oh hour for God. $35. What a bargain. <laughs> so you lay down and then she snaps on the gloves and then she just goes to work, Andrew, and it's the best feeling in the entire world because you know your feet are like a bit of an erogenous zone, right? Uh, what do you mean erogenous zone? What do you... Oh God. No, Zin, I know what that means, but how can I mean, I possibly... how many women have you said that to over the journey? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, sweaty, not ticking any erogenous boxes here. <laughs> oh, my gosh. If I had a nickel for every time I heard that sentence. How can that possibly be linked to an erogenous zone? Like, what do you mean, your feet? Your feet are. It genuinely are. feels good, doesn't oh it? Oh, my God, 13, 20, 4, 10. If your feet are a, a complete nut, an erogenous zone. Don't and- you encourage the foot fetish <laughs> people no, no, to jump sa- on board. No, I'm not saying that. So Jody is trying to link Nova with foot fetish people. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not. I, I'm just saying, if you ever get the opportunity, you've got a spare $35, go get yourself down to a massage centre and pay someone to rub your feet. Uh, you could not pay anyone all the money in the world to get anywhere near my feet. Why? Because they're so... Because they're disgusting. They are manky. So they're, they're horrible. <laughs> they are. And they're beyond repair, by the way. It's like no one has ever touched your feet with a cuticle fixer or a one of those dry skin rubbers. No one's ever done any of that to your feet in I'm, your whole how many years on the planet? Yeah, in my 33 years on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that young. I made a uh, Bigfoot blush one time when you saw yeah, my face, which that, is crazy. Honestly, and don't even start me on those toenails. Oh, they're beyond repair. I genuinely think they're beyond repair. Like, they're... Ge- it's like, oh, I don't no, even know how to describe I'll it. Describe it's its, it's it own you. thing. I'll describe like it People describe you. disgusting things like, wow, that's worse than Andrew Hayes' feet. Yeah. And people are like, what? <laughs> you know that scene in Dumb and Dumber where they yeah. get like the, the chainsaw <laughs> thing yeah. and they have to grind down yeah. the toenails? That's me. That's your feet. That's me. They're revolting. Love a little purple suit as well, just like Lloyd Christmas. <laughs> and I will say, I would give that woman at the avenues a lot more than $35 to go anywhere near your, your yeah, well, skanky I, little... I promise you, no one's getting anywhere near my feet because I wouldn't put anyone through that. No, okay? well, fair enough. Actually, just on that, might have a little idea forming in what my brain. I? Might have something up my sleeve. Oh, this is good. I like it. I like it. I'm going to sit on it till tomorrow. I need to fine-tune it, but I've got an idea. Look, I'm not a smart man, but tell me it's not... Anything to do with my disgusting manky feet? Ah, uh, yeah, you're right. You're not a smart man. We're in the dark. Are you telling me you built a time machine? Daisy's on this Daisy. Tuesday, sweetie, shut up and listen up. It's on this Daisy time. <laughs> That's too aggressive, wasn't it? So aggressive. That's aggressive. Let me start that again. Daisy. Uh, Tuesday, time for some knowledge. That's better. <laughs> is, that, is that better? Okay. Uh, 28th of November, let's go back to 1992. Whitney Houston commenced a 10-week run at number one in the UK singles charts with I Will Always Love You from The Bodyguard. And I... 
along those lines. Don't ever look at me in the eyes like that when yeah. you were singing I Will Always Love You. Don't you ever do that again. <laughs> no! Yuck! <laughs> Why are you feeling something, eh? No. <laughs> yes. Yeah, disgust. Repulsiveness. <laughs> Repulsiveness. That's not what I'm going for. Okay. 2016 musical Hamilton starring Lynn manuel Miranda. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> and Anthony Ramos. I didn't nail that, did I? No. I did not. Okay. It's okay. Right. Uh, sets a new record for most money earned in a week on Broadway. $3.3 million. Who would have thought that Broadway is not really my thing? Oh, shocking. Yeah, crazy. To no one. Am I right? 2020, the New York Times named its 25 greatest actors of the 21st century so far with Denzel Washington at number one. My favourite movie with Denzel? Mm -hmm. Training Day. Oh. You think you can do this to me? You mother to be playing basketball in Pelican Bay. When I get finished with you, I'm the man up in this piece. King Kong ain't got on me. Oh, God, Denzel, a powerful man. <laughs> He's so good. He's absolutely flawless as an actor. Oh, give me some of his work. Um, on Flight as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, where he... Turns it upside down. He did. Slightly inebriated. Yeah, <laughs> slightly, amongst <laughs> other things. Silly. Uh, I think he was in he was in Remember the Titans, wasn't he? Oh, my gosh. He mm. was just... It, it, so many diverse roles. Yeah. And that's why he's won a couple of Oscars. Your favourite Denzel moment? Oh, I couldn't. Too many to mention. Can't, yeah, can't favourite them all. Yeah. Possibly narrow them I down. Completely understand that. <laughs> Uh, let's go into your favourite artist of all time, yes. and that is Kesha. Number one song on November 28th, 2010, <laughs> We Are Who We Are. Oh, goodness. Remember no. when Kesha tried to get around Jerry Seinfeld? Yeah. And he completely blanked her? That's right. <laughs> That's right. Oh, my gosh. That's amazing. I remember seeing... Get over, hope. No, thanks. <laughs> I remember seeing her perform in the Parklands once here, and she was very average. Right. <laughs> Didn't say that, do we play her? No. Oh, well. Anyway, here she is. <laughs> we have a very special guest in the studio this morning. Please say a very nice Nova welcome to Darcy Brown from the Strikers. Yes. Yes. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Hey, Darcy. How are you feeling? Yeah. yeah. I mean, not Sorry. too bad. Yeah, it should be a really good weekend. Um, and hopefully today is just the only wet day of the week. Yes. Yeah, not Absolutely. sure about that at this point. <laughs> mm. um, Darcy, looking to go back to back here. Confident? Um, yeah, I think so. Uh, I mean, Did, no that didn't sound confident. Yeah, no, no, it didn't. <laughs> um, but I think no matter you know what team we sort of come up against, it's going to be a tough sort of battle. Um, but yeah, hopefully we've we've had a little bit of experience over the last four years. So um, yeah, we'll wait and see, but, and hopefully we get the win. Probably yep. should be a little bit confident, given the strikers <laughs> have absolutely mauled everybody else. Yeah, it's been on fire. What's that been like? Yeah, no, it's been You're great. It. I mean, um, I, I haven't been, like, you know, playing or needed, so it's been great to watch the girls go out there and, yeah, smash everyone else and, um, yeah, the group's in a really good space and we get the week off and people have just been sitting back and relaxing, which has been good. And you're a good Barossa girl, a bunder, in fact. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> so I'm just going to put this to you, Darcy. Each, each sort of time, I played uh, footy with a bloke called Jason Buckets. Oh, McKenzie. Jesus. Okay. Yes, he's one of the most beautiful blokes on the planet. Every time someone from Kapunda calls up, I say, do you know Buckets McKenzie? And they go, no. I'm going to throw it to you. Do you know Buckets McKenzie? <laughs> yes, I do know him. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. Yes, yes, well done. So, yeah, I was his um, flower girl at his wedding. So. Oh, no. Nice. Yeah, it was a pretty cute pick. So, um, yeah, no, know, know that family very, very well. Ah, how old were you, has paid off. How old were you when you were a flower girl for Buckets Mackenzie oh, in Kapunda? I, had, <laughs> I have no idea. I reckon I would have been like four. Yeah. I, I was very little. So, um, yeah. There you go. Congratulations. <laughs> you finally got there. Yeah. Oh, what a day. It's a day of celebration. Yeah. Um, going for back-to-back -back titles. Darcy, can we go behind the scenes to last time you guys won? And, of course, you won in Sydney. And there was a nice little photo that was circulating of you. And by all reports, from what we've been told, you're someone, along with Travis Head, who knows how to celebrate a big occasion. <laughs> yeah, well, you don't really know when you're going to have it again. So um, I've been fortunate enough to, you know, we're in sort of a similar position. So hopefully, um, you know, we might not ever win again or maybe we will, but we'll be celebrating like we haven't won one, I think, yes. um, if, if that is the case. But um, I think it's good to celebrate um, occasions and, uh, yeah, no matter win, loss or draw, I think we'll have a good night. How did you celebrate last time? Um, I think just tried to empty the esky and then yeah. went to the pub after that and then watched the sunrise at the harbour, um, Sydney Harbour Bridge, had a little nap by Sydney <laughs> Harbour Bridge, then got on a flight home, um, headed to the Mosley on Sunday. So, wow. um, yeah, it was, it was a great weekend. H how do you top that if you win this time around? 
Well, we'll be in Adelaide for starters, so we won't have it's any nice. flights to catch. So <laughs> um, we'll get to sleep in your own in your own bed on uh, Saturday night. So um, yeah, no, it should be should be great fun. So Darcy, the record for a WBBL match is fifteen thousand ordered Optus um, Adelaide Oval Sunday afternoon. Nice weather. Do you think we can hit twenty and eclipse that? Yeah, I definitely think so. I reckon we could get even more more than that um, even. So, uh, yeah, hopefully people rock up and it should be a really good day um, or night even. Uh, I remember being there when I was younger um, to just men's games and, you know, it'd be packed out stadium. So I think it'd be pretty easy for the Adelaide sort of fans to, to come and show their face and show the girls some support. Now, what else would you be doing on Saturday night? 6.40, um, lock yourself Sunday. in. Sunday. Sunday, Saturday. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Saturday, 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 I get it wrong. 6.40 Saturday night. Oh, sorry. Yes, we're going to beat this crowd 20,000. I reckon we'll get there. I mean, yeah, okay. perfect conditions for it. Well, Darcy, thank you so much for coming in this morning. All the best for the weekend, no matter who you play. But, uh, yeah, go kick some real behind. I was going to say something else, but I didn't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well done. Thank Thanks. you very much. Thanks yeah. for coming in. Cheers. Ah, uh, it works, doesn't Wait. it? Oh! Watch out for that. It's live audio from Adelaide this morning. Goodness. It is absolutely bucking down as we speak. Mm, mm. Sure is. It's going to be one of those days, you feel? Yeah. Mm. Hey, uh, if you missed the text for Tay Tay code word a little earlier this morning, please jump on our podcast because you'll find it hidden in there. Yeah. And then tomorrow is the last day to get a code word. Mm. Isn't that unbelievable stuff? Um, stick around. Maddie Ray's got you in just a couple of minutes' time and she's going to smash play for naughties at night. I don't want another oh. Jesse McCartney. Just yes, please. Jesse went on to do some stuff. Can't recall any of it. Yeah, he didn't do much after this, but still, let's just uh, live in this moment. Beautiful moment back in the noughties.